Hey, how's it going? <laughs> um, yeah. Where to start on this? Um, if you're straight, tell me, have you ever felt like you have to look over your shoulder every time you want to hold hands with your significant other? Or kiss your significant other? Have you had this, ever had this feeling like, well, if we do this in the wrong place, some people are going to start verbally harassing us or even threaten violence against us? Have you ever had that feeling ever? With the exception of, I mean, you know, obviously there's the, uh, uh, you're in some place where you could get mugged or something like that. You're in a really bad area. Okay, that's fine. But other than that, have you ever had that feeling? Well, you know, if you haven't, which is likely, then you're privileged. <laughs> Gay people don't have that. <laughs> the LGBT community still has some of these things to worry about to this day. Almost, e even if you're in a city that is very gay friendly, there is still that little bit of worry about, show about showing affection to someone you love. We still have that. And especially if you're like somewhere in the Bible Belt or something like that. We don't have the privilege of being able to show affection to the person we love without thinking about, oh shit, is this, is this the right place for us to do this? So now let's think about what black people go through. So if, if you're white and you're watching this, have you ever had to worry about people thinking you're a thug because you don't dress the right way? Have you ever had to worry about people thinking that you're a savage because you don't dress the right way? Have you ever had to worry about people thinking you're in a gang because you wore a hoodie? Do people think you're in a gang because you listen to rap music? Have you ever had to deal with people treating you like you're stupid or completely uneducated just because of the color of your skin? Do you have to go to extreme lengths in a professional setting in order to have hair that uh, is not considered unprofessional? Have you ever had a problem with people thinking you're a criminal? Just because you're you? Do you regularly get profiled as being a criminal? No? Well, then you're privileged. <laughs> Guess what? That's what privilege is. This doesn't have to do with, oh, you, you have everything handed to you. No, no, it's not about that. That's not what people mean when they say privilege. <laughs> there are so many things on a social level, on a social level, that you don't have to worry about. Now, there are a number of things that everyone has to worry about, but that seems to be all some of you ever want to even acknowledge. And some of you have this attitude of, well, I don't struggle with these things, so no one else should either. It must be in their imagination. They're just doing identity politics. And that's all it is. They don't actually experience anything different. That's nice, but other people do have a lot of negative things associated with the fact that they aren't privileged. And so when people are talking about this stuff, and all you can say, you, you won't even admit that some of these other people are, are struggling with these things. And all you can say to that is, well, well, people are, are picking on white people. They're saying bad things about white people, and, and white people are starting to be targeted. And you want some sort of pity party from all the minorities you've ignored for decades. And not just decades ago, but... Currently, some of you don't even want to acknowledge that there is profiling going on by police towards black people. And then if they do acknowledge it, they'll say, well, that's because black people commit more crimes. Well, then why are you upset with people for <laughs> making a lot of white people out to be racists, even if they aren't? If it's okay to judge an entire group of people on the behavior of a small amount of them, then, I mean, you're being hypocrites if you're going to get all bent out of shape over people calling you racist. How about we actually believe some of the people in the things that they've experienced? Nope, nope, nope. They, they, everyone has the same experiences. It's all in their mind, and it's just a bunch of identity politics, right? I, I mean, how are we supposed? To, how are people supposed to respond to that other than saying, you're expecting us to feel sorry for you when you haven't given a shit about us and you still don't give a shit about us? Well, we supported gay marriage and now you have that, so shut up. But you still want to whine about, about well, the way white people are being treated now. 
The way white people are being treated now isn't, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of what minorities have been dealing with for decades and decades and decades. Granted, not all minorities, but some of you will have this attitude of, well, why can't you just be submissive like Asian people are? But you know, we mustn't be uppity, you know. That's reserved only for straight white people, right? But you know, after you minimize the experiences of so many people, we're supposed to feel really sorry for you? Really? Now, in all the years I've been on this platform, I have defended the straight white male demographic. I have defended you. All these years. But the attitudes I'm seeing lately make me not want to anymore. Make me just not fucking care. When some of you are showing you just, no matter how much evidence is in front of you, you don't want to acknowledge the shit that other people go through but you want some big pity party because of what feminists are saying and some black people are, are calling you racist and black people aren't treating you that great, but you're still not acknowledging what they're going through. You're not acknowledging what gay people go through. You're not acknowledging what trans people go through. Some of you don't acknowledge what women go through. And granted, there are a number of women who don't want to acknowledge their privilege either, but still, I mean, really, if, if, if I see that someone doesn't give a shit about any demographic but their own, give me one damn good reason why I should care about that person. Why should I give a shit about that person? Give me an explanation for that. Now, to those who are giving a shit about other demographics than their own, great. I, I, I give full support, but the ones that don't, Seriously, why should I give a shit about what you're going through if you don't give a shit about what anyone else of any other demographic is going through? Or if you're saying, well, everyone goes through the same thing, why should I give a shit about what you're going through then? But you know what? I still do, or at least I still try. And something that I understand is that straight white people generally haven't had to go through any of this. And when you've never had to experience something and now you're experiencing whatever it is, it's going to seem way worse. It's going to seem like the end of the world for you. And I have to take that into consideration and I try to take that into consideration. But again, lately that's been a little bit difficult because of these attitudes that are changing. So yes, I understand and most people understand that white people are being targeted now and that's not a good thing. And, you know, maybe you could get advice from minorities on how to deal with this stuff, but you won't even acknowledge that minorities have had to deal with this stuff for so long. And yet you still want your pity party. I, I, I'm sorry, but that seems pretty fucking insane. That's, that's stupid. And it is that very attitude that is why people use the word privilege as a pejorative against you. Now, if you don't like that pejorative being brought against you, maybe you should be a little bit more understanding of those who have been dealing with problems for decades. Maybe, maybe you should have a little sympathy for them before you expect them to have all this sympathy for you. If you expect others to care about your feelings, then you need to care about theirs. It's a pretty simple thing. And when you start caring about that, you will not experience very often people telling you, you're privileged. You won't hear that very often. There will obviously be some people who are pissy all the time, who will constantly use it, no matter what, no matter what's in front of them. There are people that are very unreasonable on the left, it's true, and there are people that are very unreasonable on the right. The unreasonableness comes on both sides, so don't claim that I'm trying to say that it's, you know, people on the left are just wonderful. They're just this big bonnet of, of joy or something like that. No, I, I'm not going to claim that. I would never claim that. So don't put the words in my mouth. Unfortunately, some of you are so unable to empathize with people other than your own demographic that we're not going to see these issues ever be cleared up. And some of you will claim, well, these aren't issues to begin with. <laughs> and then turn around and act like it's the end of the world and there's going to be race wars because someone said something negative about white people. Ooh.